Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be seeing how to create a simple web server uh, using Apache, PHP, and MySQL. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to install few packages. Uh, one is the Apache 2 PHP package and also the MySQL server. So you can install that using sudo apt install MySQL server and I have already installed it and also you need to install Apache 2 and also PHP 7.0 and keep in mind if you need to install the package PHP 5.6 and below you need to switch to Ubuntu 14.404 or below versions as I am currently running on Ubuntu 17 so I cannot install a PHP 5.6 and I'll be going for PHP 7.0 so the next one is I need to integrate this PHP with MySQL so I'll be also installing this package PHP hyphen MySQL and also I need to integrate the the Apache 2 with this PHP PHP 7.0 so uh, I'll be just using this lib Apache 2 module for doing that PHP 7.0 oh that's it and so we have installed all the five packages that are necessary for running a proper Apache server uh, which can host PHP pages and also supports a MySQL server now you need to start your Apache server just by typing in sudo service apache2 space start ok there was no errors now you can go to your browser on the address bar you can just type in 127.0.0.1 and just press enter ok it works that means this is the default website that is served by Apache 2 after installation and if this page comes up you are already the Apache server is up and running so all you have to now do is just to configure your Apache server that is cd slash etc slash Apache 2 this is the directory where you have the, all the configuration and settings uh, of Apache 2 so I'll be just moving to that directory root slash etc slash Apache 2 and over there I'll be just listing down the directories and files over there you can see sites available okay over there I'll be just moving to that sites available and okay over there you can see I'll be just listing down the files present within this directory and you can see there are two files present and this is the default uh, websites configuration file that is the default.config I will show you how to create your own configuration files for uh, your own website so this is responsible for the default websites configuration and now let us create a configuration file for my website so I'll be using sudo nano and I'll be giving it the name my website website.com.config because this is the configuration file so let me press enter and over here I'll be using this virtual virtual host virtual host tag is used for um, providing the configuration of your website so its first attribute is a star colon 80 that means any IP address that communicates to your server with port 80 okay um, will be served with the server name server name is the domain name that is mywebsite.com and also a server alias www.mywebsite.com okay and also the next important part document root document root points to that directory which contains all the files which are required for this website so it will be present in root slash where slash www slash I'll be creating a my website dot com folder over there 
and inside that I will be creating public underscore HTML okay and just I'll close this virtual host tag host tag okay now you are ready and now you all you have to do is just save it now you can just list it okay that's it now you need to disable the default website whenever a request comes with the port 80 uh, HTTP request comes in the uh, Apache serves the default website uh, as it is enabled and it won't be serving your website because it's not currently enabled so in order to disable the default configure a uh, default website you need to just type in a2 a2 stands for Apache 2 followed by don't put any space or nothing it's just a single command but I'm just breaking it into different parts that A2 stands for Apache 2 DIS stands for disabling you can also use EN for enabling so DIS uh, I need to disable a site right it's a website it's a site so disable Apache 2 disable sites okay space the configuration file for you the default default.config okay you need to be the root user okay that server is disabled and you need to also enable the enable your website so a2 en site and then my website website.com.config that is a file for my website okay now whenever a HTTP request comes into this server the Apache will be serving the client with your website as uh, it's the primary website in this also you can host multiple websites within a single IP address I'll be doing a tutorial on that uh, later so for the time being uh, you need to restart your Apache server to make these changes so for that sudo space service space Apache 2 space restart Okay. Mm, okay, okay. There are no errors, so I'll be just clearing it. So, so hope you guys remember that I have specified a path in this configuration file. So I'll just move to that path where slash www. Okay, and I need to create a web directory for my website that is okay by sudo space mkdir my website my website dot config uh, my website dot com don't need to use the config and also I'll just move to that directory my website com and inside that I need to create a directory again sudo make mkdir uh, public underscore html okay I'm pressing enter and I need to move to that directory public underscore html okay now inside that I don't have any files I'll need to create an index page over here so that whenever a port 80 request comes in or an HTTP request comes into the server the server will be uh, going and looking into the default configuration that is default configuration default website is disabled so it will be going to my website com.config and it will be searching for the index page in this path okay so I need to create the index page over here so I will use sudo nano um, index let it be a PHP page pressing enter question mark PHP okay let us try whether it's working echo um, I won't just go for uh, any KV PHP pages, a simple one web server is running. Okay, that's it. And now I need to save it, just run, press control S, Y, the page name is index.page and now you can go to your web browser and try re reloading this you can see the php page works right and now you can clear it and now you need to configure whenever someone types in 
the address in this computer itself you cannot do it in from the outside as, as until you register a domain so as i said now you need just type in www dot um let's see www dot my website dot com it won't be working because i haven't configured anything yet it would be just going to the my default gateway and searching for this domain and if the domain is hosted by someone else that website will be loaded so before that i need to configure this computer or this operating system whenever someone types in this ip or this web address on this operating system so it need to redirect to the default ip address 127.0.01 so for that just move to host as root slash etc okay and over there um, just list host okay you can see a file named host you need to edit it sudo nano hosts okay this is it and here i'll be just providing the ip address 127.0.01 i need to point it uh, point the website www dot my website dot com 127.0.01 to my website dot com and I need to control X and exit yes now you can see let me press enter yes it's loading my website and also you can just try removing this Okay, it still loads my website that's it but no one else can access your website from this computer uh, from outside the network or within the network as long as you configure it in the server to point to your IP address so now you have successfully hosted a simple website using Apache and PHP and MySQL uh, by configuring your own server so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you